on the outside? Kendall, are you on the outside? Kendall, I keep telling everybody, you're improving, your legs were straight, you were doing this, you were doing that. For two weeks, you were like, fabulous, right up there with Maddie. You had it in you to be the favorite for two weeks, and that's it? What gives, kid? Maddie's done over 100 weeks. Why can't you just all rise to the occasion and be like, oh, figure it out? Abby is really, really mean and rude sometimes. If something doesn't go her way, she's gonna be, ah! It just depends on the day and what her mood is. The kids are defeated every time they're compared to Maddie. That doesn't make them work harder anymore. It makes them angry and feel like, why bother trying? I think we've said over and over is that inequity in how Abby focuses on Chloe, Nia, and Kendall as far as the things that they do. Oh, negatively. Wrong. Negative. And tends to say really positive things about primarily Maddie. I think it would be kind of interesting just to do a quantitative analysis and kind of mark. Like a chart? You know what, Hall? Let's do it. So let's listen to Abby and see how many times she puts everybody down. Are we drinking every time she puts somebody down? Because we'll be drunk. Relevant! Get up in that relevant! That lazy relevant! Quit practicing it wrong! All right, I'll start keeping track on my phone. Don't just sit there and slouch. That ticks me off. So, so far right now, Kendall is leading the pack with six. Chloe and Nia are tied at four, and there have been seven Maddie praises. Only one Mackenzie. Nia, I'm not gonna get on your case. It is not worth my energy. You are not worth my energy. That is so wrong. She said how many in less than five minutes? You know why you're getting that reaction? Because we've never added them up. You see them in black and white, you're like, this is ridiculous. All you have to do is look down in that room, and it's written all over those girls' faces. I mean, they're trapped in a windowless room with a hungry beast who does nothing but scream at them all day while she praises one. But when you actually sit down and you count it, and it's like, why is enough is enough? And I lay that there. Yeah, I'll move my fingers. <gasps> okay. The circus is in town. Oh, <laughs> the circus is here. <laughs> and look, <laughs> look what we did. Uh, oh my God, why don't you guys be a little indiscreet about that? We need the um, tallies. We've been telling Abby for years the inequities of how she treats Maddie and how she treats the other girls. Nia had six. Five, six. Yesterday, we kept a tally on Christy's phone. And today, we're going to put it in writing. Why is it Maddie on there? Because she didn't have any had eight praises. I thought she had a negative. No. Once again, the moms are singling Maddie out. Her name's not even on the board. And I really don't think it's appropriate for the girls to see us putting little tick marks by their names. What is that big sign up there? What is that? I don't know. They brought, they brought it up there in the middle of rehearsal. And Maddie said, oh, my name's not on there. Not so us. How many times she cried and ran out of the room and acted like an idiot? Yeah. No, Mackenzie would be higher. No, Mackenzie would, would be winning. <laughs> One, Where two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty-five. Mm -hmm. It's a miracle. I just watched you. You were completely turned in on your foot, pigeon toed. This kid is pigeon toed, I'm telling you. And her mother never got her corrective shoes. And they didn't break those ankles and turn them out. OK, Melissa, give her a tick. For years, the moms have talked about the unfair treatment Abby displays towards the girls. So we have a whiteboard. Every mark on the board indicates and reflects something negative Abby has said or done towards our girls. And there's no hiding from these numbers. There's no hiding from the truth. It is not funny. If you don't do this and we don't win, it's going to be your fault. Tick, tick. One, two, three. No! Kendra, you need to be behind Chloe a little bit more. You just kind of stood there like, I don't want to space space connect because that could be taken as derogatory, but you stood there doing absolutely nothing for two counts. Drop your head. That's the 10th time today. Broadway baby, my dog, could have figured that out faster. I don't have to keep standing up, down, up, down. Get your head out of your butt and wake up. Straighten the back of the knee on the arabesque. 
I'm not gonna say her name, but the kid over there in the orange two-piece coral, she needs to move out. That's a tick just for, for diminishing her and not using her name. Oh, she's asking the kids what this board is. As far as I know, they don't know. Oh, Chloe said take it down. Yeah, yeah, because I agree. What is everyone so upset about? Like, I don't get it. It's no different from what we did yesterday on the phone. So it's a little bit more visible. OK, we're making her behavior visible to all. If she stands behind a behavior, then what difference does it make? Why would it change anything? I don't see the big deal about it. It's an observable. Aren't you glad you're not on that list? I don't even know what it uh, me is. Me too. <laughs> I don't know. But whoever wasted the time it took to make those letters and to go by that board should have spent that same amount of time on putting a brain in their kid's head and figuring out why they're not the big winner. Better use of time. That whiteboard has become a huge distraction for everyone. The girls keep staring at it. I'm trying to prepare these girls for a competition against the Wicked Witch of the West. Why do they want to distract their daughters from learning? All right, so I see 11 marks over there for Kendall. Those are inequities in how the kids are being treated. It was all compared to Maddie. Right. Maddie's not perfect. I mean, I, I know that. We know that. that. Know. So that's know the that. problem. That's the so point. They all had their feet up in the air. Maddie's foot was sickled in. Chloe's and Nia's was not. You have to elevate her to make her look that much better by dragging the other kids down. So I know. No, I'm vehemently not. jealous of no, Maddie. No. It's sickening. That, that is your behavior that has been documented. Well, this is my teaching method. Right. And your teaching that's method right. is flawed, as we have seen. This has there's nothing to do with child who is missing out on the full Abby Lee experience. Uh -oh. All of the girls at the Abby Lee Dance Company get the same exact training. They all have the opportunity to blow my socks off, but they don't. Some of them stand there and yawn in my face. But some kids shine. They make the choreography look better right. than you ever imagined it looking. Which kid's yours? You either respect me, and you value my teaching method, and you want your child to be in my program and get better, or you can handle the heat. Take your money, take your kid, and go somewhere else. That is the ugliest board. Why would you bring the board and have it be a distraction to the kids again in the dressing room? When will you ever learn? Leave the dancing and the teaching up to me, and I'll leave the bitching and complaining up to you guys. These ticks aren't about corrections. It's not about corrections. It's about my teaching style. It's, no, it's no, about no, no, humiliating it's not even them. That. Like, it's not the that. point of improvement. No, yes. but that's not right. When you looked at Kat Maddie and said, "Oh, your posture's getting bad because you're hanging out with Kendall like her like over it's there," Kendall's fault that Maddie's posture was bad. But we you not make Kendall go like this. No, it's not. Kendall. 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 She just Kendall. laid there looking at me. It has I nothing to do with posture. Do, do you see why right. I didn't bring that up? Yeah. That's what those ticks represent. How many times you said things that we found disrespectful or humiliating to the kids? And I had this wonderful plan for Nia next week. She was going to do a Maya Angelou piece, and now it's like, you know what, Holly? If that's your retaliation, don't you know worry about Abby. those big flat feet somewhere else. I could care less. What kind of forty-something-year-old woman has to me, retaliate me, against me? You me, act like a me, baby. Me, that is a baby me. right there. You want me to make your child better, but yet you want to hold me accountable for my teaching methods. When they cross the Nobody line. would know Nia's name if it wasn't for me. You think people would grab their program and say, ooh, Nia Frazier's on that? Woohoo! You know what's so sad about this is that you're a grown woman taking out on a little kid. I'm not taking anything out on a little kid. And Nia is 12. She can have kids. She can get married in some countries. I'm part of this conversation, and you're ugly. What you say is absolutely ugly. That's and the you're truth. you're a nasty woman. Get real. Your kid's growing up. You have crossed the line. Abby is so totally out of line. I will not sit here and pretend that I support that woman. I'm going to get up and I'm going to walk down the hall because that's the woman I support. I feel really badly for Holly. I, I could hardly sit there and listen to that because I feel her pain. But it's everything that built up to It's not just that. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. I think we have to go. I think we have to go get the girls and then go back into the room to get them ready for group dance. We're sorry it got to that.
We are sorry. I mean, I can hardly we stand didn't. there and watch that. It's you know what? vile. Yeah, it's vile. It's what vile, she did was but vile. good for you. And you know what? She can't bite you, Holly, so what does she do? No, she, she gets she bellowed about. I am not going to stoop to Abby's level and get sidetracked. The girls have to get ready for the group dance, and they need to be focused on doing an outstanding job for the group dance this week. What is the commotion? Yeah. We couldn't even practice in there because I heard all the commotion. Sorry. What's going on? We were comparing the, the difference, how she treats the children. One is elevated while the rest are brought down to make that gap okay, appear ladies, larger. Ladies, why do you stay? I, I think because Nia has grown as a dancer. I mean, it's great that Nia has improved, but Holly, come on. There are other dance teachers out there in the world that could bring out the best in Nia. She does not get what she deserves. None of the girls do. I think that was our point. Our point holding is we're our trying to stand up. We're trying to hold her accountable. We have a few more weeks to go. We've made a commitment. Trying Obviously, we're trying to get through the season. You know, uh, well, get the girls ready for yeah. I don't the know. group dance. The girls have to get ready for the group dance. I am not going to stoop to Abby's level and get sidetracked. I only did the front. I couldn't do the back. I am beyond mad. I am beyond angry. I am downright finished with these women. You know what? I'm going to go. Nobody is going to talk to me that way ever again in my life. I have no idea what I'm going to do with the group routine. Something tells me the moms aren't going to like it. Ladies and gentlemen, the group number playing with matches has been withdrawn. I repeat, the group number playing with matches that yours? has been withdrawn and will not dance. Uh, what? what happened? That's yours. What? Girls, girls, come here. The reason the group dance was pulled has nothing to do with you. It's how your mothers treated Abby in that dressing room. I don't know what it was, and you guys don't know what it was, but that was the reason, OK? Because your mother's behavior. You know how it is when one gets punished? Everybody gets punished, and I have to put my foot down, OK? Yes. All right. Go back. After the mom's little scene in the dressing room, I decided to pull the number. The kids worked hard, but they're not going to get a prize. They're not going to get the glory, because their mothers took that away from them. Abby, why did you pull the number? See what I mean? You get the back of the head. You get the back of the head.